Hello and welcome to my latest installment of Editing Basics and today we're going to be touching on the thorny subject of titles. There are, of course, many different types of titles that you can use. For example, the titles that appear at the beginning of a show are the opening credits. Whilst at the end of the show, you have the end credits. Titles that appear at the bottom of the picture are called subtitles. Mm. Um, and uh, if they appear on their own against a black background, they're called intertitles. And if you have a really sophisticated video editors, you can put titles anywhere you like on the screen. Wow. Now the exact way that you generate titles in your video editor will depend, well, on your video editor. Um, for example, I just have to click a simple button. Your video editor might be different, so check your video editor's help file or instruction manual. In any case, once the title is there, it acts like a normal object and you can do many things with it that you can do with a normal object. Some video editors will have a special track for titles only. My video editor and some others will let you put any object you like on any track, but mine will put titles by default on track number three. In some ways then they'll act a little bit like, well, Photographs and other images, which we did in the last video, you can shorten them on the timeline to make them appear for a short time, or you can stretch them out to make them appear for a very much longer time. You may even be able to make them fade in and fade out in the normal way. Now, any object that's placed on the title track will be superimposed over any object that's on the main track. So if at the point where you put the title there is actually something on the main track, it will appear superimposed. Something like this. Ow! If you want... Do you mind? <clears throat> If you want intertitles, then uh, you just have to make sure that at the point where you put the title, there is no video on the main track. Some editors will let you customize the titles completely, others only to a small extent, but just about all of them will have presets available for you to easily put in some really awesome titles. In any case, you can always select the correct font, the correct colour and uh, hopefully the correct size that you need. Titles can also be made to move so you can have them scrolling from left to right, from right to left, from top to bottom or from bottom to top as you wish. Now if you've animated your titles it's very interesting to see what happens if you change the size of the object on the timeline. If you make it nice and big so that it stretches over a long period of time you'll find that the titles scroll very slowly indeed. But if you make the object very small on the timeline you'll find that they'll scroll very quickly. And that, really, is all there is to say about titles. Thanks for watching.